Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Quick Q&A where I answer your questions that were left in different comment sections of different videos here on the YouTube channel. If you want one of your questions answered, please leave comments below, ask your question, and I will try to feature it in one of our upcoming episodes. So this question comes from a subscriber, Love It Loud 46 and Lover Loud writes in, Hey Dave, I love what you do. Quick question. How loud should my mix be prior to sending it to mastering? I have seen different opinions on YouTube and I was wondering what your opinion is. I am not a very technical person, so I'm just looking for a safe guideline to follow. Thanks. Well, thank you. Love it loud 46. I appreciate it. Well, what I tell all my students, and again, there are different variants of opinion, you know, whether you're mixing completely in the box, whether you're mixing analog or a hybrid setup, it could be a little bit different, but just to keep it quick and easy and safe because you're not a very technical person and neither am I, I I tell everyone when you're done mixing your song, your master bus ought to peak somewhere between a negative four and a negative six dB. That will give the mastering engineer plenty of headroom to be able to bring up the volume level. And if there's any kind of EQ or compression or things that the mastering engineer needs to do, you're not going to worry about getting into any digital clipping. So yes, it could be louder. You could even send it at a negative three, but I always try to do things a little bit more on the conservative side. So if you just follow negative four to negative six dB peaking on your master fader at the end of your mix, you should be good to go. So I hope that answers your question and I will see you all on next week's episode. Make sure you leave your questions below and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.